Hudson Heights may be taking more money out of students' pockets than they ought to. The college's cafeteria has been charging students an amount that may surprise many. The cafeteria charges as high as $9 for a pre-made sandwich if students pay out of pocket. The way it works is the students must go to student services and refill their ID card in order to have Dolphin Dollars. It is kind of like debit card for food. Students may be more inclined to pay with their card rather than cash. They may be forced to cough more cash than that if they'd paid using Dolphin Dollars. This may not seem like a big deal for residents who have their card refilled periodically. However, commuters are succumbed to pay out of pocket. Christina Colopa is a commuting senior and she often pays out of her wallet in order to eat lunch. Capola stated that she got a pizza, a cup of coffee, a Snapple, and a banana. After she ate her lunch, she was out almost $15. She is not the only one. Paul Morgan is another commuting senior. Morgan stated, I never go to the cafe. Why well, drop 10 bucks on a barely made pizza when I could walk down Riverdale Avenue and buy a slice from Nona's and still save cash? Since this predominantly affects commuting students, many boycott the cafe since they could just drive to a regular store. A small yogurt asks for $3.50. If paid with dolphin dollars, with cash, the same yogurt charges more, adding to almost $6. Head chef supervisor Andre Lopez is often seen in the cafeteria maintaining the entire cafe, according to students. Lopez stated, it only recently went up in price. We don't like it this way. But we put signs out for weeks saying we will charge more if students steal food. They didn't listen. However, Morgan stated, this is not a recent trend. This has been going on ever since the school remodeled the cafeteria. The new cafe was built two years ago. Ever since, students have not been satisfied with the affordability. Students may have to get used to being overcharged for the food they eat every day. Local college students have dubbed the College of Mount St. Vincent's Geese Central. Other indigenous life, such as wolves and deer, used to vacate the grounds. Today, a swarm of geese surround the Maryvale building, plotting the ecosystem's revenge. Geese have the brain size of a fingernail. But don't let the size fool you. Geese have day after day swarmed around Maryvale in an attempt to invade our territory. At first, students thought the geese were simply feeding off the grass available to them. Now the snow has melted away, and students are starting to wonder why the geese have not returned to the grotto. Senior Javi Delgado believes that these were not the same geese that inhabited the entrance. Delgado believes that these geese used to occupy the field outside Marillac. Construction over the field has simply moved the geese to the nearest possible area. Students have mixed perceptions of the geese. Some students like senior Leonardo K. Paul describe the geese as majestic or sexy. Other students like John Munez claim the geese are disgusting. The students have to dodge goose droppings left on the road. The general belief is that facilities is not taking care of the droppings or whoever is responsible is not doing their job. General intel has shown that fecal matter of the bird has two destinations. Rather, students step on them and transfer the bird poop to the floors of the next classes, or the droppings are left until the geese re-ingest them. One student preferred to be known as Joe Sizzle has been using the geese invasion for scientific research and learning. Joe Sizzle wants to learn how the geese's affects the human psyche, and by doing so, become one with the geese. Freshman Marina Hanna claims to be afraid of the geese. She says the geese keep squawking at her and is afraid of them chasing her. When asked why she thinks the geese were squawking at her, she could not give an answer. Hannah only said that she does not believe the geese are ostracizing anyone else like this. One student claims the geese are 10 deep and going to get in a fight. The birds move in large swarms, and it can be intimidating. On a final note, some students hope that the geese and fellow students can coexist peacefully here at the campus.